Hi, I'm Aidan, and I'm standing outside Hume Hall, which is one of the university's catered halls of residence in the Victoria Park campus. I've spent my entire first year living at Hume Hall, and this is my comprehensive review of what life here is really like as a student. Hume Hall is just around the corner from a massive Lidl, a Tesco Express, a Tim Hortons, Subway, Cafe Nero, Poundland, a co-op with a post office, Spoons, and of course, the famous Curry Mile. Hume Hall is very close to campus. It's the closest hall out of all of the Victoria Park halls. It's about a 15 minute walk to the center of campus or a five minute bike ride. I've never personally taken the bus, but I imagine that's somewhere in the middle. Speaking of which, there is a bus stop just outside the Little, and the buses come just about every 30 seconds. So you're not gonna be waiting for very long. Hume Hall is situated directly between two big parks. There's Whitworth Park behind me, which is home to the Whitworth Art Gallery, which is free and really good. And the larger Platt Fields down towards Fallow Fields. Platt Fields is home to the weekly Park Run 5K, which is excellent news to any runners watching. Victoria Park is about equidistant to City Campus and Fallow Fields, so if you have friends in either of those places, Hume Hall is a great middle ground meeting point. Victoria Park tends to be quieter and less rowdy than Fallow Fields, so if you're looking for more of a party-going, raucous lifestyle, maybe somewhere in Fallow Field is more up your street. Now the rooms aren't exactly spacious, but they are pretty standard across the board of all of Hume's blocks. Except Holdsworth block, which is the older, prettier block they use in all of the promotional photos. Those rooms are slightly bigger, but they allocate the blocks randomly, so good luck. Single beds only, pretty standard across all the university's accommodation. There are a few private blocks like Wilmslow Park around the corner that do have double beds, but they do cost a little bit more money. The rooms do have a fairly decent amount of storage space. There's plenty under the bed, under the sink, there's a double wardrobe, under the desk, and above the desk. Every room comes with its own sink and mirror, which is useful for brushing your teeth and every other general ablution that you're doing. Uh, the water pressure can be fairly high, um, so you've got to sort of stand back. Ground floor rooms like this one do have a reflective layer over the glass on the outside so people can't look in. However, this only works in daylight hours and not at all at night time. Kitchens are fairly small and they don't have any seating, unless you're lucky enough to get put in holds with block, because there's loads of it. And generally only a fridge and freezer per flat, which does get pretty full pretty fast. The state of the kitchen does depend on the cleanliness of your flatmates, but they do get cleaned by the cleaners once a week. I haven't really used the kitchen much this year because all the meals are made for you every day. Shared bathroom facilities. A little bit of a blessing in disguise actually, because you don't have to stock them, you don't have to clean them, and you get more space in your room. This is the laundry. All the washers and dryers here are operated by a third party company called Circuit, so you'll need to download their app in order to top up your account. A wash costs about £2.80, a dry costs about £1.30, and you do have to provide all your own detergent. The Victoria Park Bar is one of Hume Hall's greatest assets. People from across the neighbouring halls come here to congregate because of its cosy atmosphere and cheap drinks. They host a weekly pub quiz every Thursday, and there's also frequent comedy nights and karaoke nights. There are also two pool tables, two dartboards, and a couple big TV screens for streaming the football or whatever else is going on. Each block has its own downstairs common room with sofas and tables, which is great for socializing with all of your many friends. Guys? The university's accommodation website lists Hume Hall as having its own squash court and gym, which does exist. However, it has been closed since day one and has no signs of opening anytime soon. I recommend making friends with someone who lives in Wilmslow Park around the corner because they do have a free gym for residents and you can just tag along. Table tennis room. It exists. Whether or not you're allowed to use it depends on who you ask. I've come up here on many occasions, played a lot of ping pong. It's been great. I do recommend bringing your own bats and balls though because the ones they provide are not very good. Snooker room. They've got two massive snooker tables. It's about as open as the gym and uh, they use it as a storage space. So that's not happening anytime soon. Unlike the gym and squash court behind it, the outdoor sports pitch at Hume Hall is open almost all the time. The JCR frequently holds interblock football tournaments, which do get nice and competitive. Hume Hall has a fantastic and very active JCR committee and ResLife team who put on events year round, such as Hume Fest in June. This is the green quad area outside Holdsworth Block. It's used by students to chill out and relax when we get some nice weather once or twice a year. 
And there's also the occasional barbecue put on by the catering team, which is lovely. There is this big shared group study space on the top floor of Holdsworth Block with bean bags, desks, PCs, printers, and books, in case you don't fancy going all the way into campus to write your essays. This is the old dining hall in Holdsworth Block. It's very Oxbridge. You're not actually technically allowed in here and nothing ever happens. But it is very cool and there's lots of pictures and paintings and coats of arms everywhere. The John Hotsthorne Lecture Theatre. I still have no idea whether actual university lectures go on here. I don't think they do. But the JCR uses it fairly frequently for movie nights and board game nights and you could occasionally attend some local council meetings here. ATMs. There is one. It, it's Barclays. Let's talk about postage. All your letters and small parcels will come here to your shared post boxes. Any larger parcels will go to Dalton Ellis Hall down the road, so you'll have to just walk five minutes to pick those up. Though there is an Amazon locker in reception. Hume Hall has two bike sheds. There's one here outside Christie Block and this one between Greenwood and Plymouth Block. It's safe to say that bike theft is kind of unavoidable across the city of Manchester, not just at the university. So it's worth taking part in the safe bike lock scheme, which is put on by the security office. They subsidize a really fancy D-lock for about a tenner and it tends to put thieves off. This lock is probably worth more than my bike, which might explain why it hasn't been stolen all year. As a side note, it's also worth registering your bike on the National Bike Registry. That means that if it is stolen and then found again, it could be more easily returned to you. This is the dining hall. This is where all the blocks come together twice a day to socialize and eat together. There are a lot of opinions surrounding the catered versus self-catered debate. You're almost certainly going to be self-catered for second and third year, so for me, I thought I'd make the most of this opportunity to go catered first year to allow me to have more time not cooking, not cleaning, not shopping, to go to more societies, go to more events, and get to know more people in the blocks at Hume. The food. Really good if you're not that picky. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference. I can honestly say I've not had a bad meal here all year. A couple of people have groaned about a couple of different things, so it really depends. I don't eat meat, so at first I was a little apprehensive about what options would be available for me, but it turns out they do a vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free option every single day. So really, there's plenty of choice. The dining hall is a great place to meet people, especially during Freshers' Week, because you aren't just limited to your neighbors and immediate flatmates. All of the blocks from Hume Hall eat together twice a day, so in my case at least, you'll end up with a friendship group based on people from all the different blocks. One of the downsides about staying in catered accommodation is that the windows for eating are fairly limited and they never run over. So if you miss them, you're on your own. Breakfast is always the same. Every day you get a full English with the options of cereal, porridge, and fruit on the sides. The only exceptions to that are occasions such as pancake day. Lunches are not provided at all. Occasionally they'll provide a sandwich, but I wouldn't rely on it. Most people just go for a meal deal or they make their own. All of the catered halls around campus hold formal dinners a handful of times a year around big occasions like Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day. You get a big robe to wear, you get wine and fancy desserts. It's all, it's very Oxbridge. The catering staff themselves at Hume Hall are fantastic. They're a lovely team who shone particularly brightly when I had COVID twice, as they brought me food parcels to my door every day and made sure that I was doing all right. I documented all of this in my COVID vlog, which you can watch by clicking up there. I recently interviewed a couple of the staff members here and asked them a bit more about what they do. I'm here with Paula, who works here at Hume Hall. So Nick, how long have you been working at Hume Hall? I've worked, this is my first year at Hume Hall, but I've, I've worked for the university for 18 years this September. How long have you been working here? Um, it'll be a year in September. Amazing. And what do you enjoy the most about working in Hume Hall? i say the staff make it. We're all like one big family and we just get along so well and we just have, we just gel and make a really good team. Tell me a bit more about the, the formal dinners. What goes on behind the scenes and what, what makes them so special here? Behind the scene, it's hard work, yeah. but it's really, and it's a nice feeling when you are doing it to see the students are happy and the food that they like. Yeah. Which is the best form of the year? Is it Christmas, Easter? Well, for me personally, it is a Christmas one because be. Christmas is my favourite time of year. Final question, what is your favourite meal of the week that they serve here? Well, with every Thursday we have different themes. Chinese noodles, we do American theme, we do Mexican theme, Spanish. So it's nice to, uh, you know, get involved, seeing what the... Uh, Chefs and everything they've done. But it's got to be a cottage pie. Cottage pie. Can't beat the classics. Absolutely. And what about the best dessert that they do? Probably the, the crumbles. Yeah. 
Because he's just like hearty, homeless, dodgy. Yeah, got some good custard on there. Yeah, oh, you can't beat a bit of custard. <laughs> you certainly can't. Overall, Hume Hall is priced at about £170 per week, which is fairly pricey, but it's about the same as a lot of the self-catered options, and included in that price is two meals a day, seven days a week, which is pretty good if you think about it. From my experience, Hume Hall was perfect for me and my needs, and I had a brilliant experience here. It's probably one of the best halls at the university, but obviously this depends on your needs. Hopefully this review was interesting and insightful, and thank you for watching.